Today on the show, we'll talk about MCR1 and how, you know, it'll end life as we know it. This is Hexpo. So in November 2015, researchers in China reported that they discovered a gene that would make many bacteria resistant to the last resort antibiotic, colistin which is kind of scary since it's the last resort antibiotic. It's kind of like having a zombie movie where headshots work all the time, until they stop working. And then what? Well, scientists don't really know. As researchers in other countries began to look for that same gene called MCR1, they started finding it. Europe, Asia, North and South Africa, and even right here in the United States, researchers at the Walter Reed Army Institute of Research found it in a woman in Pennsylvania. So why should we be worried? As Liz Barkowski says in her blog post, MCR1 is of particular concern because it's carried on a plasmid, a small piece of DNA that can easily transfer from one strain of bacteria to another. In other words, we can soon be facing bacteria that are resistant to all antibiotics currently available. What? How did we get here? Well, we're stupid. We overuse antibiotics. Doctors prescribe them way too often. Patients don't use them correctly and stop taking them when they feel better instead of taking the entire course. Farmers use them in livestock. Now, if you don't think this is a big problem, think again. Imagine getting a cut on your finger. No big deal, right? Now, imagine that cut gets infected. Still, whatever. Go to the doctor. Get antibiotics. But wait, now antibiotics may not work on it at all. The infection spreads and could actually lead to death. Not just cuts, but any sort of injury. Even women giving birth with C-sections. Cancer treatments that cause weakening of the immune system would leave patients without effective antibiotic treatments. And on and on and on. This really sucks, and it's really scary. This problem's being made much worse by the agricultural industry, which uses antibiotics way too frequently. So besides making sure you cook all your meat to the right temperature, there's not much else you can really do, unless you're a scientist. Then you can research the problem and hopefully come up with a solution. Or if you're a politician, then you could fund the sciences in this country, so maybe we don't all have to die from paper cuts. Or if you're a voter, then you could send letters to your congresspeople telling them to fund the sciences and why. Actually, you should do it right now. If everyone thinks everyone else is going to do something about it, nobody will actually do anything about it. Google for your representative's website right now and use the contact button to write them. Tell them we need to fund research into public health. Go. Do it. I'm James Papadopoulos and I'll see you next time. Why are you still here? <laughs>